Hey everybody, it's Abe, Jake, and Richie. And before we get started today, we want to give a big shout out to Derek, who's also known as BrassMonkey26 on Instagram. He sent us these awesome photos of the Sonic Micro Stomp Rocket and... In slow-mo. In slow-mo, yeah, yeah we, cool. we really love it. So keep sending us your pictures, your videos, so you can send them to this email address. You can post them on our Instagram, Facebook. We'll do everything we can to get them highlighted here. Now on to the episode. Hi, it's Richie and Abe in the Sonic Dev Studios to bring you another preview of our next project. Howdy folks. So our foam board, foam board flyers and foam board fighters, that's really hard to say. Mm -hmm. Say that three times fast. Say it again. Foam, foam board. board flyers and foam board fighters. I can't. I did it better that time. They've been really popular and a lot of fun. I thought it would be really cool to do a helicopter out of foam board, which is a challenge because Obviously, it has a rotating wing, mm -hmm. rotary wing. Yeah. So how do you do that? Rubber band power, some other power system? I opted for the power of the sun. Or nuclear, right? Well, it's nuclear kind of helicopter. Yeah, nuclear yeah. helicopter. So after playing around with it quite a bit, I figured that it would be kind of cool to combine a hand-powered helicopter. It was like project, uh, what was that, 12? Mm -hmm. Yeah and uh, put a helicopter body on it. So played around with a lot of ideas. Um, first thing I decided to do was to use electric RC airplane slow flyer prop because it's a lot more efficient than popsicle sticks and need some decent lift. And they're really cheap. I bought this whole package online from Hobby King for like three and a half bucks. That's There's four of them in there. So then- uh, You know, I know a little something about these because they're not unlike the uh, Blades on my quadcopter. Yeah. And I've crashed them many times and broke them. I yeah. had to purchase new ones. Yeah. yeah. They're and not you're very acquainted with those. Yeah. So it's your half, right? Or your That's thigh. Right. We did that on the set. <laughs> yeah. oh, hey, hold on. No, you this is good. You can't fly that in here. No, I'm, I'm very good at this. No way. <laughs> Ow. Ow! That hit my leg. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, here they are. I'll just bring I've got four different graphic designs. So you've got your kind of your traditional hand-powered helicopter with a foam board body on it. It's taking everything I have not to just not do it. Fight. So of course in the middle you're going to need some kind of bushing for the for the body to spin on. I'm using a uh, 7-Eleven Super Straw. Of course, you can get a large drink straw like this from various convenience stores. That one works really well. Quarter-inch wood dowel. If you plan to build a lot of these, do you recommend going in and like just getting a handful yeah. of the straws? I like that. I've offered to pay for them, and they never, they won't charge it. So uh, another thing I did was take a strip of craft foam, about I don't know. 3 16 wide and wrapped around the tip, that makes it a little safer, right? Yeah. Flying around okay. kids, you don't want to wipe could, somebody out. I do it now? Yeah. No, which direction? We'll find out. Uh, that way, right? Yep. Ooh, okay. That one's snap. not coming back. A little less throttle. Oh, not getting that one back. <laughs> Sometimes they fly away. Well, what's really cool is, I'm going to fly this in front of you, but if you point it in a particular direction, it will fly that way, so. Toward the camera. Now we're down to one. <laughs> that one's in a back room in the studio. So the way you'll build this is print out a graphic sheet oh, like this. <laughs> yeah, we started with four. Yep. Print a graphic sheet like this. Um, dollar store foam board, peel off the paper. Mm -hmm. Roughly cut around the graphic, you stick it on, cut around it with an X-Acto knife glue two halves together, that's about it. Glue the tail boom on. And then, uh, like I said, a little bushing there made out of the straw. And this little retainer I made out of a, a section from a disposable pin. And that's it, it's pretty simple. What's cool about these props is they're designed for a six millimeter stud. So a quarter inch dowel fits right in there. You don't even have to drill it out. A Little bit of hot glue to hold it in, that's it. 
So that's, uh, that's really cool. Project number 74, foam board helicopter. This is a Bell 222, one of my favorite helicopters. It's going to be a skill level four, take you about an hour to build. And like, like I said, it's made out of wood dowel, an RC airplane prop, some foam board, some uh, full sheet printer labels, a straw, and a little piece of a disposal pin. And if you want to put foam on the rotor blade tips, which I recommend, you can use some adhesive back craft foam for that. Very cool. Love it. So it's a fun project. I hope you have fun building it. A lot of fun to design. I don't have any cuts on my face. Not yet. Not because of the foam, I guess. <laughs> So anyway, how about one more launch, and we'll call it good. <laughs> oh, there went the light. Okay. <laughs> we can fix that. So until next time, I'm Richie with Sonic Dad. I'm Abe. Now it's your turn to go make something cool. See you next time. See you later. Hi, it's Richie and Abe in the Sonic Dad Studios to bring you another preview of our next project. Howdy, folks. So here we are. We're going to bring you a preview. <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. Hey, if you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to go to our website. Thank you.